What's up, followers of the Grail of the Serpent? He is your favorite sorcerer. The OG of sorcery, the Bronze Dawn. The new video blog. And uh, I'm going to call this video blog, What Forces Are You an Expression Of? What forces are you an expression of? What do I mean by that? Let me take a step back and explain that. What forces are you an expression of? See, a lot of people are confused about what we, what we see going on in the world right now. All the old institutions seem to be breaking down and it's, it's almost as if anything that we could rely on in the past, such as like belief systems, societal structures, you know, even the amount of genders there are, <laughs> they, they all seem to, to change and to be like in a transition in some way or another, right? Now, to a lot of people, it feels like it's breaking away, but what's actually going on is a transitioning into um, the age of Aquarius, okay? Now, the age of Aquarius, it has an airy quality, airy, uh, like, like the element air, okay? Like an occult element, okay? Uh, not necessarily the chemical element, okay? I'm not talking about oxygen here. I'm talking about um, the occult principle of air, which represents fluidity and, um, and, 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 and mental activity. We're coming out of an earthly age, an age with earthly qualities. Earth, the element of earth, once again, is, is very solid and, 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 and rigid, but also gives us stability. So in the past, you know, in, 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 in the past centuries and, and, and you know, even millennia, the hierarchies were really strict. The structures were very strong. Things like nation states, um, things like religions, they gave people clear direction an understanding of what was right and wrong. And uh, that kept society relatively stable. Yeah. Now we're, we're moving into, into um, an age where everything becomes super fluid. Okay. Anything monetary, for instance, is, is being digitized. Everything in the economy is going to become digitized. You will see that, you know, you will see that it's already happening. But 2025 onwards, we're going to see a completely new system of economics. Um, everything everything that, that can be digitized is going to be digitized. And with that, we're going to have much more fluid institutions. They won't even be recognized or recognizable as institutions because they're so individualized. So the bottom line is we're moving from one age into another. This one age, with all its political institutions, um, economic institutions, you know, belief systems, religions, and all of that stuff, that were solid, were the expression of forces that are beyond occult. You can't see them with the physical eyes. You can't communicate with them, with them, and, and get in touch with them through occult operations by elevating your state of consciousness. We can interact with these forces. And the same with this coming age where other forces express themselves. So what I'm trying to say is that everything that, ex that exists in the physical is just a reflection. It's a secondary consequence of other energetic in in interactions that are not happening in the physical but beyond. We're cultists. We have to think like that. And astrology as a side note, is one of the most powerful things. I don't think any magician is complete without a, complete, a, a, a solid understanding of magic. Uh, sorry, a solid understanding of astrology is what I'm trying to say. You, as, as an occultist, someone who understands this, have to ask yourself, what forces am, am I an expression of? Because it is not just about you. You, what you feel, what you think, and all that stuff, which is an expression of energy, once again, will determine your life and what you become. Now, most people are guided and directed and, 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 and controlled by forces beyond that they don't understand. They have no control over. They work through their subconscious, 
through the collective unconscious, through the, the individual subconscious, and that guides their life. As an occultist, you have to make a conscious decision what forces you want to align yourself with and uh, devote yourself to them. Whatever you pay attention to, whatever you focus on, you increase, you increase your, your, your resonance with it. And when you choose an, an, an invisible force as the one that you want to express, and you have to choose one, you don't really have a choice there. You have to choose one, otherwise some other forces are going to express themselves through you. You will become an expression of that force, and therefore your life is going to reflect that. So make a conscious choice. Be aware of what forces are having an influence on you. I always teach that you should only worship one thing as a black magician, as an occultist, which is the being that you may become. The being that you may become. So in a sense, that would be an egregory of your higher self. I believe that every magician should create that. Your daemon is not found, it is just as much created as it is discovered. And please think about that. That was really, really profound because that changes the game. And listen, magic in, in the past was also taught in an airy, uh, sorry, in a, in, a, in a more earthly quality where everything was really rigid. You see, now we're moving into a new age where we can understand these things better and everything becomes more fluid. And doesn't mean there are no rules, but these are rules that exist in a different sense, if that makes sense. Whereas in the past, the rigid external structure required you to be internally flexible to navigate the landscape. Now it is changing where the fluid and chaotic, constantly changing external structure will require you to become internally solid, to have your fixed point within you. You got to become the mental point of origin of the self. And this is what I mean by that. You choose your daemon. You choose the being that you will become. And that will be your North Star. And the outside chaos will not bother you because you are protected in the solidity of the vision of yourself. Apply that. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.